So now that you know a little bit about where the different types of codes are kept in these different palettes using this EV3 software, we're going to go ahead and make a code for our EV3. We're going to try and make it do some basic movements and play a sound. So you can see that we've got our start button, which is always needed for a project. Um, looking at my EV3, I can see that I have two large motors plugged into port C and B. So I'm going to use this move steering. I'm going to click it in there. I'm going to turn it on for three seconds and I'm going to make sure that it's at port B, motor C, motor B and motor C. So if I press, if I was to load this code, it would keep the EV3 going straight at 50% power. I'll change that a little bit. I'll move it up. I'll change it to 75% power for three seconds. I'm then going to go into the flow control and put a pause or a wait. I'm going to make the EV3 wait for a moment. And now I'm going to make it turn around towards me. Now, if I select move tank, you'll see that I've got here is power left, power right, and for one rotation. Now, if I turn this on, degrees. If I was to keep this as it was, power left would be 50 degrees and power right would be 50 degrees, so it would cancel each other out. What I need to do is make sure that they are opposite of each other. So if one is at 50 degree or 50% 50 power, the other should be at minus 50% power. That way they'll be working in line with each other cooperatively rather than against each other and counteracting each other's movements. I'll put another pause in there and then I will make it move back towards me. So again, on for the same as this one over here for three seconds at 75%. Now I will Plug my EV3 in. And just down here, you'll see my EV3 is in. And I will run the code. I'll download and run the code. So the code has been downloaded. And let's just see what it does. It's moving straight. It's going to pause and turn and then come back towards me.